What does this mean to combine magic? Magic plus magic plus the magic. <sighs> Damn faithless Imperials. Next Imperial I see is dead. Good job. Ulfric was right about you. I'm glad to have you with us. We're taking the city. Meet the brothers gathering for the yeah. Fight well or die. We're taking the city. Meet the brothers gathering for the attack. Fight well or die well. Talos, be with you. We're taking the city. Meet the brothers. Gathering for the attack. Fight well or die well. Talos, be with you. Nine, I hate the weight. The goddamn weight.
This is it, men. It's time to make this city ours. We come to this moment carried by the sacrifice. This is courage of our fellows, those who have fallen, those still bearing the shields to our right. On this day, our enemy will know the fullness of our determination, the true depth of our anger, and the exalted righteousness of our cause. The gods are watching. The spirits of our ancestors are stirring. And men, under suns yet to dawn, will be transformed by what we do here today. Fear neither pain nor darkness, for Sovereign God awaits those who die with weapons in their hands and courage in their hearts. We now fight our way to Castle Dawa, to cut the head off the Legion itself. And in that moment, the gods will look down and see Skyrim as she was meant to be, full of lords who are mighty, powerful, and free! Ready now, everyone, with me, for the sons and daughters of Skyrim!
the best you can do! Taking Skyrim back from those with Lever to Rome. You're wrong, Ulfric. We need the Empire. Without it, Skyrim will assuredly fall to the Dominion. You were there with us. You saw it. The day the Empire signed that damn treaty was the day the Empire died. You're a damn fool. Stand aside, woman. We've come for the general. He has given up, but I have not. Rekar, go. You're free to leave. I'm also free to stay and fight for what I believe in. You're also free to die. This is what you wanted? Shield brothers and sisters killing each other? Families torn apart? This is the Skyrim you want I. That's not the Skyrim I want to live. Rekar, you don't have to do this. You've left me no choice. Talos, preserve us. Guard, awake! This is it for you. Any last words before I send you to oblivion? You realize this is exactly what they wanted. What who wanted? The Thalmor. They stirred up trouble here. Forced us to divert needed resources and throw away good soldiers quelling this rebellion. It's a little more than a rebellion, don't you think? Ah. We aren't the bad guys, you know. Maybe not. You certainly are the good guys. Perhaps you're right. But then what does that make you? You just said it yourself. It makes us right. And if I surrender? The Empire I remember never surrendered. That Empire is dead. And so are you. So be it. Just kill him and let me come. Come, Galmai. Where's your sense of the dramatic moment? By the gods. If it's only gave to some damn story you're after, perhaps the Dragonborn should be the one to do it. Hmm. Good point. Well, Dragonborn, what do you say? Do you want the honor? As you wish. Good. It's done. Well, I suppose some kind of speech is annoying. 
I'll go gather the men in the courtyard. And Alisif? Don't you worry about her. I've sent my best men to round her up. Stormblade, I want you to have my sword. A token. Now then, the men will expect a speech. Will you stand by my side? I wish to honor you. Of course. Very good. Come, the people of Wales. the people, Liberator, and I, King of Skyrim. I am indeed Ulfric Stormcloak, and at my side the man known as Stormblade, and the world knows as the Dragonborn. And indeed, there are many that call us heroes. But it is all of you who are the true heroes. It was you who fought a dying empire who sunk its claws into our land, trying to drag us down with it. It was you who fought the Valmor and their puppets who would have us deny our gods and our heritage. It was you who fought your kin who didn't understand our cause, who weren't willing to pay the price for our freedom. But more than that, it was you who fought for Skyrim, for our right to fight our own battles, to return to our glory and traditions to determine our own future. And it is for these reasons that I cannot accept the mantle of High King. Not until the moot declares that title should adorn my shoulders will I accept it. What about Yarm Ellison? Yes, what about the Lady Ellison? Will she put aside her personal hatred for me? and a misplaced love for the Emperor and his coin, so that the suffering of our people will end. Will she acknowledge that it is we Nords who will determine Skyrim's future? Will she swear fealty to me, so all may know that we are at peace and a new day has dawned? I do. Then it is settled. The Jarl will continue to rule solitude. I will garrison armies here to ward off Imperial attempts to reclaim the city. And in due time, the Moot will meet and settle the claim to High King once and for all. There is much to do, and I need every able-bodied man and woman committed to rebuilding Skyrim. A great darkness is growing, and soon we will be called to fight it on these shores or abroad. The Old Mary Dominion may have defeated the Empire, but it has not defeated Skyrim! <laughs> How'd I do? <laughs> Not so bad. Nice touch from the High King. Thank you. I thought so too. It's a foregone conclusion, you know. Oh, I know. The Imperials are not going to leave us alone. They still have camps in the hills. They'll continue to strike out at us whenever and wherever they can. I'm not afraid of the remnants. Time of all the problems no more. What I fear is that the Valmore will see our victory here and turn greater attention to our shores. We must be prepared to face them. Aye. And of course, we couldn't have done it without you. May the gods preserve you. May the gods preserve us all. Come, Galmar. We've still much work. Thank you. 